Today I'll be talking about the iPod Touch 3G and the iPhone 3GS on the 3.1.2 firmware. The problem is that when you reboot or restart your phone after your jailbreak of Black Rain, that when you reboot it or restart it, it will cut completely off and you will not be able to use it unless you restore it and resync everything that you had on there first. And that's going to take a very long time. I'm going to show you how to get by that. So, just going to reboot my iPod Touch. Going to reboot it. And now it's cut off. Then the app was going to show. Now I have to connect it to iTunes. Have to connect it back to iTunes. So, make sure that it is plugged up into the computer. So then, you are going to open up Black Rain. You're going to click make it rain. It's going to say running. And then geo height is going to be on your on your iPod Touch or iPhone. There it is. It's going to ask it's going to tell you your your jailbreak is done once the device reboots. All right. When you jailbreak your iPod Touch 3G or iPhone or iPhone 3GS with Black Rain, it is tethered. Tethered means that you have to reboot and restart and reconnect it to iTunes. But you don't have to do that. It's on Geo Heart. It's going to, Geo Height. It's going to take a little bit. see it is still on there see the screen has got brighter and it's the home screen should be coming up in a minute there it is you do not need to resync it you just have to plug it back up to your computer you just have to plug it back up to your computer and go back to black rain so I hope this helped See, everything is working. Got all my pages. There it is. Hope to help. And if you don't have Black Rain, you can go to blackrain.com. Black Rain is spelled B L A C K R A 1 N.